So what can humans do to overturn the disaster that we have brought on ourselves? The answer is many things, of course, but here's one. Carbon dioxide emissions from the burning of fossil fuels and from industrial agriculture are the main cause of climate change, but removing CO2 from the atmosphere at standard temperatures requires too much energy for governments and companies to consider it cost-effective. Now, an Israeli startup called High Hopes Labs developed a system that captures the carbon where it has almost solidified far above the Earth. The frozen carbon is then separated from the air to be brought back to Earth where it can be recycled. How exactly does that work? To learn more, we're joined by Nadav Monstroff. He's the co-founder and CEO of High Hopes. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. I understand you. you're, you've just returned uh, from uh, Glasgow, from COP26. Uh, I'm sure you shared the news of uh, your uh, innovation with, with people there, so I'd love to hear about the reactions. Uh, but first, can you explain to us a bit more in detail how it works and how do you recycle carbon when you bring it back to land? So it's unbelievable how simple it is. Basically, the idea is it's very easy to capture uh, gases if they're close to their freezing uh, temperature. Uh, if you wake up in the morning in the winter and you see a, a, a thin layer of ice on the leaf, it's gas that frozen, it's really uh, easy to grasp. Exactly the same with, with, is the situation with carbon. Carbon freezes at minus 80 degrees. And the only place that, oh, one of the places that uh, that we can find carbon close to the freezing temperature is, is as you mentioned, uh, 15 kilometers above uh, our head. Um, and once we understood, understand that there is a potential to, of capturing carbon there, uh, we immediately explore the options. And the amazing thing is that uh, it is possible because there was a, a tremendous b breakthrough in ballooning technology in the last decade, which allow us to, to reach this high altitude and capture the carbon. And, how, how we, and definitely, I, I mean, I'm looking at these balloons. I, I'm not sure they look like something that would survive 15 kilometers from Earth, but they do? They do. I, there are many uh, companies and government companies uh, using these balloons, uh, starting from NASA to Google to, to Amazon and other companies. They are working, they are reaching, some of them reaching much more above uh, 15 kilometers that we are aiming. They they reaching they can reach there they can uh, they can uh, capture carbon and uh, I don't know if you know but five months ago uh, we managed to capture carbon direct from the air uh, by our solution so it's amazing and and exciting. So how does that work? I imagine the, the carbon dioxide doesn't just uh, wait there in batches. There must be something that you need to do in order to. Uh, capture it, to, 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 to uh, push it into the balloon, how does it work? So carbon is, is, is part of the gases of the, of the air we are breathing. And the, and the idea is very simple. Imagine a balloon that goes up to 15 kilometers above ground, and it's connected, there is a payload connected to the balloon, with it, which is open from both sides. And the air goes through the, the payload, and in the middle, a can that capture only the freezing uh, carbon. Once it, the can is full, you can download it to Earth uh, and, and uh, put in another can and get it up and repeat, do it do it repeatedly. Now it sounds it's like you would idea. need a lot of balloons in order to to make a, a significant impact on life on our planet. Uh, how much carbon can you? Uh, remove and using this method? So yes, the, the numbers are huge, but also the numbers of uh, carbon emissions uh, the humanity emits every year. We are talking about 50 billion tons of, of, emits, uh, of em emission that the humanity emits every year. Uh, we need to, emit, uh, to, to capture 25 billion each year to, to keep the, the situation as it is. It's, it sounds a lot of balloons, but when you take it down to the ground, uh, and sorry for the double meaning, uh, basically you can capture, We can, according to our calculation, we can reach uh, an amount of approximately 
50 billion tons of, of carbon when we get to the full scale uh, operation. Wow. Uh, it's imagine, imagine, imagine like you have a, a, a let's say, a, a solar uh, farms and, uh, and other electrical energy, wind energy uh, farms, you'll have a balloon farms uh, around the world, which will do the work.